I'm a nooch. Hey, a hundred button men on the street 24 hours a day. That Turk shows one hair on his ass, he's dead. I never had a picture that made a voiceover game. You know, I mean, that, that made a game. You know, I had a couple that didn't even make it to the theater. This was the first time I ever put that many dots on my head. It was strange, it was interesting. It didn't feel like anything. I mean, they don't feel like uh, they restrict you, but you know, it's sitting there and talking to a little round light. Never mind, send somebody with them. What made the picture successful and sort of timeless is that it really was not about, you know, the killing and the mob. It was all about family. You spend time with your family? Sure, I do. Good. Because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. The interesting thing was that, you, you know, you forgave everybody. I mean, you know, the biggest question was, um, was that a real horse's head, you know? I mean, wait a minute, we killed 92 people. Nobody cared about that, you know? Because everything was done for the sake of family. And, and you know, we had uh, a lot of good young actors. Get out of here. Private party. Come on. I remember grabbing some extras. Some poor guy was taking a picture of me outside of the wedding. And I grabbed this poor guy and I smashed his camera. I mean, of course, the proper guy went nuts. And luckily, Clemenza, he grabbed me. But I remember in my neighborhood, as long as you paid for it, it was OK, you know? So he grabbed me, and I just took 20 out of my pocket and threw it on the ground. There was just all kinds of stuff that went on. I remember telling Pop, uh, I wanted to enter the family business that I could, you know, learn to sell olive oil. The story goes that he was never, he could not have been a Don because he was too emotional and he didn't act with his head, he acted with his heart. Sonny was just, you know, hot-tempered. They shot my father. That's business, your ass. And uh, basically the rest of it, I just try to be Don Rickles, you know? I just bust everybody's chops from morning till night. So it was fun, you know? Hey, kid. Listen, believe me, if you ever have a hundred guys with guns on your side, whatever you do, don't trade them in for some fucking lawyer. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. This is pretty, uh, pretty wild. This is one of the great characters of all time. Richie, I'd be talking to Bobby, and Bobby go, damn it, my watch. My, my goddamn watch, stop. So Richie'd come over, and he'd say, uh, let me see the watch. He says, what? He says, come here, I'll fix it. Take the watch off, and you hand it to him, and he'd go. Mind you, believe that word. And he'd take the watch in his hand between his fingers like this, and he'd press the glass in the back of it. He goes, OK, yeah, it's better now. I walk away looking, nothing changed. Another time he had somebody's car didn't start, he goes, get away, get away. He picked up a rock. He knocked it on the block three times. He says, okay, now. I walked away. Nothing happened. He was a great character. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. 